These are Underwater Drawings by Margaret Ross Tolbert. As the title implies, these works were drawn underwater with graphite and then completed with paint and watercolor later. Tolbert regularly paints and draws on, by, and under the water of the various springs throughout Florida that serve as her muse. Margaret Ross Tolbert was born in 1954 in Raleigh, North Carolina, but spent much of her childhood in Virginia before moving with her family to North Central Florida. She attended the University of Florida to study art, earning both a bachelor's and master's degree in fine art. Professor Hiram Williams, who taught many notable artists, was an influential teacher to Tolbert. She has public installations across the United States, as well as abroad in Europe and the Middle East, and most recently, the U.S. Embassy in Turkey. Her works span various media, from large-scale paintings to sculpted brick, lithographs, and endless sketchbooks of drawings and watercolors filled with ideas. She also writes poetry and prose, and is the creator and steward of the mythology of Serena, a guardian of the springs who still manages to have fun and explore, which has been documented on film and lenticular photography. In her own words, Tolbert says, I like it that my works are essentially a flow that takes different forms. It's not clear which is the subject, the work or the inspiration for it. You have to just obey the flow. Her knowledge and love of water in its natural places in Florida also spurs her desire to raise awareness of the importance of preserving such beauty, the source of life. Tolbert's main inspiration is water and its optical qualities that refract light and distort, creating a reflective mirror world, which she understands as a left-handed person who often writes backwards. Even in her early still life works, glasses of water pulled focus. The underwater drawings are snapshots of the springs and their individual characteristics. These were completed at Juniper Springs near the Ocala National Forest in North Central Florida and Itchituckney Springs in North Florida. The tiles that serve as the surface of the underwater drawings are a unique canvas. Tolbert recalls, I was looking for a more permanent, organic, and repurposed material for the underwater sketches. I had been drawing on zinc plates with a coating. The solution came in the form of slate roofing tiles from a friend that had a salvage house and suggested their use. They reminded Tolbert of ancient sculptures with the added bonus of being a natural material that wouldn't harm the springs. She especially appreciated the gleaming surface and the reflective effect the drawings make. When creating them, Tolbert says it's like writing magically occurring on the wall. She tends to record her initial impressions of her surroundings seen through the limited view of her goggles with very little editing. Tolbert's depictions are often painterly and immersive with vivid shades of blues, purples, greens, and yellows that capture the crystal clear water of the springs throughout Florida. Her scenes include hints of what lies below the surface, such as swimming fish and turtles or swaying grasses. Even the organic outline of the tiles, with their layered and rounded edges and occasional holes, add to the natural character of the works.